Hey there everybody, Lee Cooper here. I am going to show you today how to set up Zoom so you can use it for uh, multiple monitors. So if you're setting up in your classroom, I already have a video on how to set up your computer and your uh, ViewSonic board as a second screen. So I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to right click on my background and go to display settings. Um, show you that. So I'm just going to right click on my background and go to uh, display settings here. So screen one, if I identify screen one is my uh, laptop screen and then screen two, the bigger one, is my uh, ViewSonic board. So what I'm going to do here to set up Zoom to work on both of these is I'm going to actually launch the Zoom app. So I'm just going to go down here and search for Zoom and I'm going to launch the Zoom app because there's a setting in the Zoom app that I want to change. So I'm going to sign in, sign in with SSO, go through that whole process. All right, now in the settings in the Zoom app, they're right here under, um, under my profile and there are settings here. Now on the settings here, under the general tab, there's a button right here that says uh, use dual monitors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the use dual monitors and then when I start my Zoom meeting, it's going to use uh, my two screens. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start my meeting uh, and you can start it however you normally would. Uh, so I've got a meeting URL here, and I'm going to open that, and hopefully i got some people waiting in here. And um, there we go. It's going to connect, and then I'm going to join with my audio. And then I'll turn my screen on, and now I'm in. And i um, got to choose my correct video. So there's my video, and then um, when I share my screen, what I can do is I can have my chat up here, and uh, uh, oh look, there's somebody in my room right now, so Christy's in here, and she's got uh, the video, she's got it, something in the chat, oh, Stephanie's in here too. Hi guys. Make sure I got the right speakers and my microphone, yep, okay. Uh, so I can have my chat and everything over here on this screen and then uh, when I go to present and share my screen what I can do is I'm going to share my screen and instead of sharing screen one which is where I normally am I'm going to share my screen two which is over on the other screen and now whatever's over on that screen is what's going to be shared so I'll pop over there and show you that. So now I'm on my board, and then on my board I've got, uh, I can see me, and I, um, I can see over on my other screen, I can see all the kids in my class, I can uh, manipulate, that, manipulate that around a little bit so I can see everybody, I can see the chat, um, I can see my people in the screen there and everything. So you'll notice my controls are now show, actually showing up at the top of screen two, so my participant list. But I can then take that and move that over here to screen one. And now I can see if kids raise their hand. So now that's over on screen one. So here's a trick for you. If you grab the top of this, um, I'm just going to position this over here a little bit. Grab the top and you see how that arrow turned into an up and down arrow. I'll drag that up and that'll snap so I can see full screen. If kids raise their hand, and I'll admit these guys, um, I can see that info there. And over here on this screen, I can see the chat. So I can do the same thing over here with the chat. So I'll put the chat up right there. And then I can kind of resize this a little bit. So now I've got my uh, view over here. And I can put that in gallery mode or speaker mode so I can see all my kids in my class there. If I had more kids, they would show up. And when I go back to my screen two that I'm presenting from on my ViewSonic, I can then use my board to tap around and move around on uh, things here on the board. So I can present here and show my, um, my screen or whatever I need to do over here.
So if I had a presentation up here, I can say, okay, well, today we're going to watch this video. I can play the video over here. I can uh, be running a, a slideshow presentation or whatever my content is. But then over here on screen one, I'm still looking at all the kids over here on screen one. Now, if I want to show the rest of the class because I'm teaching virtually, uh, what I can do is then I can uh, stop sharing over here, and then I will go back and it will turn my camera on so the kids will be able to see me instead of my presentation. So that's, uh, that's it for me for now. Uh, check back. We'll have some other videos on how you can set up your laptop and your computer in extended mode and you can share your screen with your students and you can still see everybody in Zoom.